I was like, literally, like, just before I was recording, I was like, you know, replying to a message. And I, I was like, why is it like, why is it? Why is nothing nothing happening? I looked up at the screen and I saw this. Missing your TST200 hostess Android? We have one time offer. Brand new Chloe for free. Are you interested? No, let the Chloe be free. She's free. Unless that was really bad and then we forgot what to do then. <laughs> then we're in trouble. Um, let's continue with our story. Uh, hopefully it continues to where we left off. I don't know, I just don't- I want Chloe to be free. You know what I mean? I don't want another Chloe to come in here and have to deal with my crap. <laughs> Having to deal with me all day. That doesn't sound nice for anyone. So, the main goal going forward, right, is to make different decisions. Like we said, we're going to make the same decisions as always. By the way, this is a second playthrough of this game. If you want to see the first playthroughs in the description below, if you randomly clicked on this and go, why is he like doing everything like so crazy like? I'm scared for this one because it's going to be very different. Because we did armed robbery this time around. But we have clothes. And we didn't cut our hair. This is completely different from how we woke up last time. That's exciting, right? That's super exciting. By the way, my name is Calvin, also known as Roman. This is my second ever playthrough of Detroit Become Human. So let Alice rest. I agree. I agree, but I have a feeling that Connor's gonna show up at some point. Man, this is so different. What the hell? <laughs> oh, Alice. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. So it wasn't a nightmare. Oh, she says a similar thing last time as well. Yeah. That's such no, a good fit a for Kara, though, by the way. I love it. Um do you want a a bath? How about a nice warm bath, and then we can go out and try to get yeah. you something to eat. What do you say? I find I think it's I Kara so good. I find that like how many times where I feel really bad, and sometimes I just have a shower, and I'm like, oh, you know, I feel a little bit better. You know what I mean? And like it's hard sometimes. I understand it's hard, I'll run you a bath. especially in this situation to think about that stuff. Man, this is so different if you think about it. Like we did we didn't even have the, the capabilities to do this last time. Now we're now we're running bats. Make sure it's uh nice and you know has a nice temperature to it. Yep, there it is again. The theme of looking at each other in the way we're gonna cut our hair anyway? There's a possibility. Yes, there's a scissors. I mean it makes sense. But it's a different time we're cutting our hair. I guess we did cut our hair in the morning last time too, didn't we? We're going to change the hair color this time for sure. Honestly, just wear the hat. You know? The hat is actually a better idea. <laughs> in my opinion. You know how hard it is to recognize someone where they're wearing a big hat that they haven't worn ever before? It's still a cute look though, isn't it? It's still a very cute look. Uh, We might try black this time. Yeah. I like it. I think it looks good. Now we have to get rid of this too. Man, we're gonna have to avoid Connor this time now because I think that like it's probably gonna be more direct. We have a paper trail now, but then again, we named ourselves Archer, so. Stop it. Is it enough water? Check the temp. What you think? Alice, get ready for the new Kara. Oh. Detroit today. Oh, thank you. You really look like a human now. Thanks. Let's go. Your bath's ready. So, CyberLife is set to open its first Android Zoo in Los Angeles, which will exhibit exotic species to have become extinct in the last 30 years. Crazy. Loot turtles, polar bears, and mountain gorillas. What was that sound? Have to come uh, and mountain gorillas. Do you hear a sound outside? The elephants and several species of tiger have been among the high-profile attractions. CyberLife CSR spokeswoman Daniel Carnegie 
Set to the zoo, caters to people of all ages. It has a special mission to educate and inspire the younger generation about the importance of protecting a fragile environment. Though some environmentalists have claimed the zoo will diminish popular uh, concern for uh, a popular concern for the attraction of real animals, but it is difficult to be uh, to not be enthusiastic about technology being used to recreate vanished species. The animals themselves have yet to be unveiled, but the cyberlight promises that they will be more real than the real thing. No doubt, the ideal week uh, weekend trip for the families of polar bears are extinct. I'm guessing, which is why we saw that polar bear in a, a cage later on. Remember, we made a taxidermy one. Canada, Canada is still an android-free zone. Canada, where the air is clean and the welcome is always warm. So some places are just Android-free. Despite the United States uh, voting in the Android Act in the early years 2028, Canada Parliament has yet to again be pushed uh, has yet again pushed back on its decision on whether to permit Androids into the country. As a result, Androids are not sold in Canada and have no official status in the country. With Androids continuing to fuel unprecedented growth in the U.S. economy, yet contributing to the record levels of unemployment, the arguments for and against putting them on sale in Canada rages on, but for the time being, Canada remains an Android-free zone. Here's the thing. If you're not making Androids, and you're not selling Androids, and you're not doing all this stuff, to me, it's like, okay. Then it's, like, to me, like, it's like Canada's not really in a terrible, like, not really terrible for being like, okay, we just won't make Androids here, because what happens here is, the problem is making the Androids, making them, giving them the possibility for sentience, and then treating them improperly, you know what I mean? You can't treat them improperly if you never make them. The but when they come over your borders, you just, oh! You should hope that you do treat them well. According to initial reports, he was shot by his Android oh my god. <gasps> Public opinion is going to go down a lot in this game, guys, I'm telling you. Now in progress. Reporting live for Channel 16 News, I'm Josh Douglas. Yeah, we have to turn it off, yeah? Don't ever see us. Man! You had no choice. He would have killed me if you hadn't stopped him. What are we going to do? We have nowhere to go. We'll find a place. And the police are looking for us. We'll find a place. Um, do you have any family? Do you have any family? No, she's going to say no. Anyone who could help us? No. It was just dad. That android yesterday, he gave me an address. He said we could get help there. Could be worth a try. See, I wonder what's the different way we can we can deal with Zlatko this time. Because I wonder, like, if there is, like, a different way we can deal with Zlatko. Because to me, it seems like, let's see, moving, determined, comforting. Let's be com comforting. We can't change the past, Alice. Yeah. But we can decide the future. We're going to pull through. And soon all this will just be a bad memory. Because the reason I say, like, what, what's a good way to deal with Zlatko is, like, or a different way to deal with him is because there probably are different ways to deal with him. What if we don't release the... the androids? And if we don't release the polar bear, will that just result in us dying? Or will there be a different outcome or a different... We could try that. We could try not release the polar bear and, and try not to release the, um, the androids. But then again, we kind of feel bad. But then again, we are trying to be... We're doing a selfish run of Kara. It goes against our feeling, right? It goes against our feelings on this. Finished getting ready. I'll go out and find some food for you, and then we can get going. Okay, so we're going to go maybe to, like, a vending machine or something? Do we have any cash left? Or we should have asked for $41 with that gun. Get breakfast, Alice. We'll try. Alice, you make sure you don't step out of here. Man, this is so different. Right? This is so different. But there's going to be police everywhere. There we go. And they're, in, they're, at the, they're at the motel this time. Oh, oh my god. They have, and they have a direct route to us. Lieutenant Anderson, Detroit Police. Looking for a female android. Robbed a store down the road last night. You seen anything? An android? No. I don't think androids here. Have you seen anyone that looks like- Oh, this? Jesus Christ! She had a hand, though! Fuck. I knew there was something weird about her. She came in last night. She was dressed normal. Oh, you know? no. There was no way I could tell. Is it still here? Yeah, probably. Room 20. Oh, God, we gotta go, we gotta go! Thank you. Oh, now we're playing as Connor! What? We're playing as Connor this time. 
You wait in the car. Uh, diplomatic? I think it's best if I go with you. Listen, I'm tired of you talking back to me. You're a machine, so shut the fuck up and do what I say. Jesus, Hank. Just to accomplish my mission. I'm sorry if that <laughs> upsets you. You want to see the end of your mission? Stop busting my fucking balls. So Hank went down to neutral in this state, so we're we're not in a good place with Hank. And we're not gonna be in a good place with Hank. Oh no, I don't like it because I love Hank so much. I love him so much. What are we gonna do here? This is so different. We didn't even I don't think we we, we barely played as Connor. Like, we did play as Connor and Hank in this scene last time, but we did not do this. For sure. There was like a split second where we played as them. This is terrifying. This is like chasing after yourself. Are you sure? Uh, yes, we're sure. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. So we went at the back this time. Connor was thinking of something though, wasn't he? Connor was definitely like, oh, what's happening here? Sneak past the cops. This time we're in a different way. Hide here, first of all. L1 style. Uh, let's go over here. Oh. No, 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 you can't see me. I'm just being myself. I'm just like a li little girl, li little girl, and uh, and we know where our, our direction is. I'm just a, a, a lovely person trying to avoid seeing cops. You know, I'm allergic to cops. I'm, I have an allergy to cops. That is so good. The way they do this is so good. Now, it's going to be easier this time because we are playing on a more casual setting than we did the first time. Um, the music here is fantastic. Excuse me, the light screen. I wish we could stop him going to Joe and John. Joe and John don't know what to do. Oh, you the umbrella, umbrella style. Wait a second. That's a nice umbrella you got there, honey. Thanks. Uh, that, that means a lot. Come on, Alice. But but he liked our umbrella. Yeah, he did. We can never we use an umbrella again. You're right. I'm sorry, Alice. <sighs> Look at this at the ATM machine. It's such a natural position as well to just stand there staring at the ATM machine. I agree. That's why I do most days too. Okay, we're totally going in here, right? This aspect of the fit does not fit, does not suit Kara, right? It does not suit her. That was way easier than the first time, of course, because the buttons, we were playing on a different level. It was way easier than the first time. Way easier. Are you okay? There we go. So a completely different, like again, if we hid in the house, it would have been different too. But we chose the motel this time and there's still a way you can get caught here. And there's still, we went this way the first time. Police don't have a lead, but now they definitely have a lead. Man. Now they definitely have a lead. Sources report that Cyberlife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. It's Connor. Oh, it's Marcus. This is interesting because now I don't know what would be so different about this mission because this is the Jericho, finding Jericho mission. We can check the flowchart, see if there's other things we can do, maybe. But from my perspective, it seems like everything's going to be pretty similar. 
going on this journey? Like, you have to find Jericho, right? Like, you can die, I suppose. Check the shimbo less what we'll do. Yeah, we have to find the subs. Well. This is exactly what Connor did to find Jericho as well. So look at the graffiti. And like now that we like we, we've we've done this already, I feel like it's like oh, it's probably gonna go by pretty fast too. And we have to find the lion one again. Man, like this game to me, like, just does an unbelievably good job of making like the detective work feel fun. Like you know the stuff that would be in other games that kind of feels like a chore. It's very it flows very well and it's pretty fun um, to go through it. I'll never forget the scene when he's looking at the androids. Marcus was born to be free, man. He was born to be free. Born. This is his, like... Oh, sorry. Excuse me. That's there. I don't know if I commented that the first time, but to me, that's definitely like, oh, sorry, excuse me. But if he was an android, he might not have said that, you know? Are we going to get rid of Mandy, she said? Was she talking about, like, her android, maybe? Nice. There we go. Yeah, let's check the flowchart really quickly as well, but I, don't, I can't imagine this being so different. Um, let's check the flowchart. So, analyze graffiti, read fortune teller. So, there's another thing we could have read there. Read ast Android astronauts. Follow the signs. What can you do? Ex exit the station. What can you do instead of following the signs? But that's a dead end. There's another thing here after you leave the streets. So let's, let's take a look around. Let's take a look around. If there's anything around here that we can look at. Find the next graffiti. But there's like an unlock thing as well. But that could be just the next mission as usual. Let's take a look around everywhere. Let's go where, where no person would ever go before. Like, oh, maybe we could, like, break into a taxi. Don't walk. I'm walking. Takeaway. Clean earth foods. Excuse me. Human. Sorry. Yeah, I just want to say as well, I've loved the comment section for this game. I think I've said it before, but like it's it's been the next one is yeah we know where that one is it's the one uh, over here, uh, but I love the comment section for this game I think it's been absolutely incredible, um, having like such fun discussions having such fun conversations disagreements even in some cases. And we have to find the cage the the fence again. I think we went down here last time didn't we and we we went all the way up here to check out this. I wonder what could... Could we maybe talk to the lady at the flower shop or something? Or maybe talk to him? We'll go as far as we can up here because I think I already went as far as I could have. Yeah, I went as far as we could up here. I'm walking here. That's New York. We're in Detroit. I'm walking here. Nice flower shop you got. Maybe we can talk to her? No? Um, I thought maybe we could talk to her. Imagine if the game could end because you get hit by a car here. That'd be awful. Um, I did see like a, a comment uh, saying, well, like, would I 100% this game? The answer is like, no. And that's mostly just because I don't 100% any game. The only game I've ever gotten a platinum for in my life is Persona 5 Royal. Um, and the reason I got the, the platinum for that game was... Um, by accident, because everything in that game that oh, yeah, I'll send this back. The reason I got the platinum in that game is because it, it like it like everything, every single achievement and trophy in that game is something you do naturally within the game. And not only that, when it comes to finding all secrets, like I don't like the idea of like I don't want games to ever turn into a checklist. Like that's not why I like playing games for. Um, and I understand everyone likes games differently. For me, I like I just never wanted to ever 100% games. I like doing side content, but my brain. 
And people always said they're like super jealous of me that I can do this. And I agree, it's cool. Um, with my brain, like I literally, when a side quest is getting too annoying, I will literally just be like, okay, let's leave it. <laughs> and people are like, no, I have to do it. Um, I learned my lesson from playing Yakuza 0. I played Yakuza 0, uh, which is one of my favorite games of all time. But the side quests in that game are so lengthy and so long that it genuinely got to a point where like I was like holy crap like this is a lot and I think it was one of those things where like whilst I like now thinking about it, it's like ah you know it doesn't really matter in the end I think we can somehow get onto this fence right now that I think about it I'm like ah you know, it doesn't, really, it doesn't really matter to me, but like, like I spend so much time doing the craziest stuff. Is there another one here? Yeah, there's probably another one we're not even noticing here. We got that one. And the one here, yes. And there's one blocked off, that's why we have to go in here. No, I thought there was one blocked off under here. Yeah, yeah. Um... I remember doing every single side quest and like playing that game for like 90 hours, which isn't a bad time for any RPG. But I was like, I can't, do, I can't do this again just because like it took up so much time. It was crazy because those games will drag you down, like they will bring you into side quest city, and that's what side, side quests are for people that want the extra content, and that's why I think like you know, sometimes like when I replay games, I like I don't do the side content as much as I would the the main content, but. Depends on the game as well. Always depends on the game. So here we have another symbol. So we have this one. Um, this one. And there's one down lower. Where were the other? Oh, find a way to reach the roof. Yes. Okay. We can move this, wasn't it? I think it was. Yeah. I actually, like, really love the mechanic of movement in this game. You know, because to me, like, a race is like the... Re like, have you ever played a game where you have to move a freaking... And here's the thing. Last of Us Part 2, one of my favorite games ever created. I would say it's, like... Like, in terms of, like... Maybe not my top 10 favorite games of all time, but it is there in terms of, like, games I love dearly. And... Like, moving stuff, like, moving bins around, like, moving the rubbish bins around to, um, you know, to climb up on stuff. Sometimes it's like, man, this is, like, so difficult. Because it is in real life, too. So, like, removing that, it's like, okay, cool. Thank you. I love you. So, we have to pre-construct this. I love this mechanic. Uh, so, we start here. And then we catch on to this. And then we land on this. Wow, first try. I'm, I'm the most amazing video game player of all time. You ready? Look at this. This is why they call me the most amazing video game player who ever lived. This is why they call me this. Is there anything else we've been missing around here? Like, they always call me that down at the, the police station. Wow, he's the most amazing video game player who ever lived. Am I right, guys? I guess he's okay. In a way, he is. People who don't know me are gonna think I'm like a police officer or something. <laughs> yeah, police officer. Police officer plays Detroit become human. <laughs> I would have arrested him here now, I think. <laughs> oh, see this now? Arrested. Just straight up. Now, this jump right here. They teach you this in the police academy. Not the smartest jump in the world to do. But you know what? In a way... Ah, uh, see this? They teach you in this police academy as well. It's called the rope-a-dope. I would have done that, to be honest. 
Now, if I was chasing him, this is the part where I'd give up. This is the part where I go home and me, and my wife, and I have an argument. But what does that do? But how would you apprehend the. Uh, well, you see, I'd tell my. I'd get out my frustration and say, honey, this isn't working out. <laughs> I love the lighting here, it's so beautiful. So the next graffiti is like right here, right? And it's actually a really cool one. Yeah. To find Jericho. It's so cool. It's so cool. Yeah, we see the broken down android as well. Oh. It's cute. It's, it, I think it stuttered around here last time too, didn't it? Or maybe it was a later one. Sometimes there are just stutters in this game. Um, I'm not sure why. I, I honestly think that it is in some cases like it's just, especially when now we're playing too fast. I think we're loading things too fast as well. Some people suggested like some of the choices I should make and uh, like and that's always very helpful especially in a second playthrough. The choices obviously we're going to be doing that are different is obviously like we're not going to deviate as, as Connor. We're going to be more aggressive and vicious as Look at this. It's still so pretty. We're going to be more vicious and uh, as as Marcus. Uh and with Kara, one of the things people said was that when you're on Jericho surrender, which I think is an interesting thing to do as well. Man, I hope Surrender doesn't just kill us, though, but <laughs> I, I, have a, I have a trust in this person that said this. Wait a second. Wait. We just didn't even think about going this way last time. <laughs> Thank God we didn't. Would this not scare the people in Jericho being like, oh my God, what was that outside? I'd be terrified. You never hear from me again. Yeah, the, the fixed camera angles make this game so freaking beautiful as well. I'm actually really excited to see, like, what the violence... Because I think it's like, guys, when I say violence, when there's chances to take people out, when there's chances to execute people, we are executing people. Oh, it's so pretty. We are doing, like, proper, like, everything. Like, we're not holding back. Marcus is going from a peaceful protester to a violent rebellion-like leader. That's what we're doing. And that's the point of it, right? That's why, why would we do anything else? Look at this. I always saw this as him being reborn in the waters, right? Atmosphere is still really good. Even though we haven't, uh, like, we still know that, like, what's coming, you know? Get a flashlight for us. What if you don't get the flashlight and it changes the whole game? <laughs> Something so simple as that, man. Oh, there's a jump scare coming up again. It will not get me this time. I will not, I refuse to allow this jump scare to get me this time. It's not happening. What does the flowchart look like now? Because it seems like, like I said, it seems like everything is like, apart from like little things here. Like, look, is it like, what, what is happening here with these things? Can you guys let me know what I'm missing here? Because I can't even think of what I'm missing here. Yeah, everything's, everything's pretty much the same here. Everything's pretty much the same here. Because I know I am missing stuff and people might be like, well, you're not as attentive. I think we're just going more for the choices, but like I said, if there's anything you're like, hey, go see this or go see that, please let me know. Is it here we have to go through? Or is it down? Or is this a, a hallway? Oh my god. You're not scaring me. It's not happening. 
Okay, got me a little bit. That was kind of, that is, is that freaking North? That was North Skirt. Is North doing a freaking sprint away here? And I do apologize if I'm not getting as much secrets, guys. I'm, I guess I'm just not good at finding them sometimes. I'm like... I don't know. It makes me feel dumb sometimes, but what can you do? What we could do as well, like, down the line, I mean, like, next year, we could do a Detroit, like, definitive playthrough where we find every single secret, like, and kind of, like, not exactly 100%, but, like, maybe, like, do the, do another run of, like, completely different things that we did before. I think that might be a fun thing to do. Like, the final run. And this time we probably do it with, like, a, a vague guide or something. Oh my god, I forever this... If this is a human, they're dead, you know? Dead. Deadzo. Dunzo deadzo. Ah, look at this. Knowing what they, they how they became friends now. Welcome to Jericho. Yep. Yeah. I wonder what these secrets are. Yeah, so this is pre pretty similar to our last our last run. Here's the chicken stand. My favorite thing in the world. We can get a chance here though to make friends with Hank a little bit more. He's neutral with us, but like it's gonna go down when we don't save him. Reconcile with uh, LT Anderson, sure. Hank, I'm coming. Connor would look good with a uh, buzz cut. Hey, listen, I got a shit hot dish. Hmm. A chicken stand. Workers, do you like chicken? What do you think of this? This is called the spinny doodle do. Did you like it? Is that a new move you made, Connor? A new move. Come on. This is different. It's 100% guaranteed. Wait, check the flow chart. Hold on a second here. Because there was definitely some different things here. Join Hank. So there's. Okay, hold on a second here. Hold on a second here. Uh, main menu. Let's see what we can find here. There's definitely something different there, right? There's definitely something really different there that we can do because it says join Hank that we can unlock. Let's see now. Let's let's work to find this. Because stuff like the original one, like picking up the fish and stuff like that, people like give me a lot of crap for <laughs> rip fish. Yeah, let's work to find this. I think one of the issues is, is like maybe I don't change the camera angles a lot. That could be it. Plastic with you. Plastic with you in our temporary. Okay, let's take a look around. So you can change. That's one. That's probably one of the issues I have is I I never change the camera angles a lot. Because like this ch this changes something completely here. So that's barricaded off. Okay. This is a beautiful location though. So like changing the camera angle I feel like is like so important. Maybe we can talk to the workers over here. No. What what am I missing here? Am I just like never able to find Okay. I guess I'm just not able to find secrets. <laughs> what is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? No, I don't. Sorry. You don't well, have to follow me around like a poodle. His voice, his, like, his performance is so good. It makes it feel so natural. Um, reconcile? Partners. 
I think our relationship got off on the wrong foot. We should forget what happened and start over. What do you say? Look, you sent me a piece of plastic for a partner, and I'm dealing with it. But if you think we're going to be buddies, you're as stupid as you look. Man, if you could see my other playthrough, Hank. Here you go. Oh, this maybe? So we got a hamburger. Ooh. Nice. With pickles on it as well? What what shake did you get? Oh, a soda. An extra large soda. Not my style. Oh, you're LT Anderson Hank. What you get here? Oh, Gary Kays. What a guy. Uh, thanks, Gary. I'm starving. Don't leave that thing here. Uh, not a Dude, chance. calm down. Follows me everywhere. Wait till the revolution comes. You're first. See? So, no, do not talk about his cholesterol. Uh, enjoy your meal. Enjoy your meal. <laughs> I always thought this was so funny. Thank you. <laughs> uh, free meal area habit. You seem to know everyone in the district. Yeah, we're not going to upset him with talking about his freaking cholesterol. Are you kidding life. me? No, most of the guys around here. Went to school with him, or I busted him. Sometimes both. <laughs> about Connor, Hank, and the Adrian Stevens. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, Ag yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Actually. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. <laughs> uh, Hank and Android's deviance. So we did miss out on something that we can talk about. Again. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate Android so much? He does. He does. He does have his reasons, and then we have to talk about Deviants as well. I should tell you what we know about Deviants. I feel so self-conscious knowing I'm missing all these secrets still. I know we're just doing this for the choices, but. Mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> you ever dealt with deviants before? Yep. A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with the little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me. Tell a lie or tell the truth. Um. I mean, I like the truth. We're I trying to make sure we like can class. get at least baseline with Hank. So when we don't you save him, it's gonna be. In several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. So what's your conclusion? Sincere, psychological, and cold. Let's be sincere. I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. I don't think he likes this. Oh, he did. He did like this. So he's warm with us now. I just got a report of a suspected... So this is the bird thing. There's also it's many... Okay, this away. is one I have to focus on. We should go have a look. Because there's a million and one different things you can do with this. I saw... I remember seeing the flowchart. I'll be in the car if you need me. Hank likes that he's working with him, though. He's like, okay. By the way, if I'm going to get a burger in a place, I'm always getting a milkshake. Always. Love a good milkshake. Hey, Connor. You run out of batteries or what? Oh, I'm sorry. my God. The fact I'm that I'm going to, like, have to, like, Cyberlife. not save Hank is upsetting. Well, do you plan on staying in the <laughs> elevator? No, I don't, Hank. No. I'm sorry. Why I'm are you coming. saying sorry for it? Something's going to happen, Hank, and I'm not going to save you, and I love you to bits. Hey, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. 
Nobody's trying to look around. No, we already explored a lot of this area too, didn't we? But the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh Christ! If we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're gonna need more cops. Oh, we're gonna need some bird poop. Hey, were you really making a report back there in the elevator? Just by closing your eyes? Correct. I love how you get so interested in this as well. Wish I could do that. <laughs> okay, so last time we were very polite, weren't we? He's kind of waiting for us to do something. Uh, do we get a choice of what we can do here? Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! Because I think Hank will just kick the door open anyway, right? Stay behind me. Got it. Okay, let's check the flow chart really quickly because here, I know there's some different stuff here. Hold on a second here. So we found the LED, but there's also different things you can do in the apartment. So before we find the stool, the cage, and the LED, and the RA9 reference, there's other things we can do. But there's also an ending here too. Look at this. That's losing him. Man, this is, there's so many different things you can do in this game. Rupert! Rupert, my friend. We can be friends if you're not an idiot. Oh, well this, of course, we didn't find last time. Detroit Today. Red Ice Epidemic. Or did we find it? We probably did find it. The synthetic simulated informed, uh, informally known as Red Ice has begun, become the drug of choice of Detroit Snow. I think we read this. I think we did read this. I could be wrong, though. Uh, if I am wrong, like, I feel terrible. But I think we I remember reading something about the, the Red Ice. He waited for us. What the fuck is this? That's such a natural react. I love that reaction. Ugh. Jesus, this place stinks. Yeah, let's check all. Let's check everything. Urban farms of Detroit. So we know about this, by the way. There's a a. I believe there's a. We read about this later. There's like a, an initiative to make the farms or whatever. Oh. Recycled paper recently moved. There's like an initiative. Well, looks like we came for nothing. Our man's gone. To like make more organic farming, right? What the hell? A book. With all the kind of symbols of the, the RE9 stuff as well, right? Found something? I don't know. It lo looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable. Yeah, so the Jesus Christ. Now we I need some fresh air. Nothing here. Now I wonder if there's like a chance that like he doesn't find like find the cause of the loud noise. But then again, they wouldn't like put all this stuff in front of us and lot well they might actually. What's in the fridge? Hmm. No lunchables. Is that what they are they called that in America as well? Lunchables? He cares for wild animals, so there is a care for like these birds. Did that implement a lot of stuff on the flowchart? Like, cause I feel like I didn't see some of this stuff before. Find diary, yeah, find yeah, so that's something we didn't find before. So we didn't read the Red Ice Epidemic before. Okay, let's go back. Oh, will time pass though? I'm kind of worried about time maybe passing. Yeah, let's. I, I, I'm, I'm kind of maybe. I don't know. I'm so worried about this type of stuff. There it is, Rupert Travis, handsome lad. The driver's license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. What's this? Yeah, he put his name on it as well, and the military jacket, didn't he? RT. Rupert Travis. Probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket. That's something your mom does when you're in first grade.
Now maybe I'm wrong because I know that missions can go forward without you, and I'm worried that like something will change here if we don't if we don't do this fast enough. Now that I've already started investigating, I'm super worried about that. Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. All the RE9 stuff, yeah. Hey, Finding yeah, the book felt really good. <laughs> RA9. Written 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. Oh. Yeah. Man, there's so much. Again, I want to check the flow chart just one more time to see what we're seeing here now. So we have, yeah, we found the diary. We found the, there's something else here though before we find, so he's investigate the stool, investigate the cage, read every, what, what is this? There's something else, but that leads to something entirely different. So if we do that, we set on a different path that maybe, so yeah, we do, we want to, we want to catch Rupert because we're trying to be obedient cop. Right. Unfortunately. But we can do that if we ever do it, like I'm actually thinking of doing that. Next year we'll do like a third run of this game. Reconstruct his him running away with this freaking stool. So he was right. He was writing this as we were doing this, and then he fell. The poor guy. Real books. I thought I was the last guy to try to keep some. This should have been like a hint, by the way, for us to be like we should probably explore more of this. Smell the paper. When he's like, hey, real books. I thought I was so maybe like we should have looked for more books because it was clearly blatantly being like, hey, there's books around here. So this is probably a moment where he could have found the stuff we were looking for. I do like that actually. I could be wrong with it. It just could just be a nice little thing he says, but oh sorry, I was supposed to reconstruct it. That's one thing I forgot to do. Yeah. Uh, reconstruct. Reconstruction is really fun. What I'm excited for more than anything is going to the the Eden Club as well to actually finish out that mission we didn't get to do before so he's still here yeah this is this is this is a great moment by the way suspect is still here yo he's still here hank expose that suspect Yeah. What are you waiting for? Chase it! Chase it, let's go! Here we go. This should be way easier now, right? Because, like, we, we're on an easier difficulty. Oh, I can't believe we're not gonna save Hank. It actually is painful. It's so freaking painful. Fast. Okay, let's just follow him. Let's just follow him. Let's just follow him. Fast but risky. Let's go fast but risky, as always. We have to be careful, though. Just because it's a little bit easier doesn't mean we can't be let, let, let off our guard. You know what I mean? Safe but crowded. Here we go. Direct but crowded. You know what I mean? We can't let our guard down, even if... Because there, I almost pressed circle again. Let's go! This is still one of the best chase sequences I've seen in a, in a game. It's been so good. And there it is, where it's sit fast but risky. Look at this, we know the route. We know the route. <laughs> we know the route. This is so exciting. It's so good now. This like even the second time around, it's really cool. Like this moment here. Holy shit. Yeah, he's impressed with it as well, our guy Yang. You can doubt you can lose him here as well, which is also an interesting thing. But then, like, I feel like that's the worst outcome because then not, not only do you have, like, you don't catch the android, but Hank is also like, what the hell, man? You know what I mean? He's like, you should have been better in this, I'd say. He'd be like, am I right in saying that? You guys can tell me that if you want because I imagine that, like, if we do lose him, because we're not going to ever intentionally lose him. 
But I imagine that, like, Hank would legit be like, dude, like, what the hell? You know what I mean? Like, you know, we, we had him. We had this guy. Oh, cornfields! Oh, Hank, 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 Hank! Oh, no, I feel so bad. We're, 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 we're running, doing the obedient cop. We're doing the obedient cop. No! <laughs> Hank is tense with us? Oh, my God! Please. I've done nothing. That's fine. You come with us. <laughs> I just wanted to be free. You know what they'll do to me if you turn me Oh in. my god, and he's handsome. Model 87400 Serious malfunctions have been detected Jesus in your Christ. Class 4 errors. You've been deemed defective. You will be sent back to Cyberlife for deactivation. Don't you fucking move. <clears throat> oh my bad. god! You saw I was gonna fall and you'd rather let me die than fail your fucking oh. mission! <sighs> this is awful. <laughs> this is so bad. I choice. It seemed to me. What am I to you? A statistic? No, you're not. A zero, a one, I love you. Program? Huh? Is that how you see humans, you <laughs> it's so painful. Jesus. I understand you're upset. No, it... perhaps I didn't assess the Fuck situation. you and your fucking assessment. Come here. Why are you doing this? Uh, Hank. You're one of us. Shut up. Hank, we're you're helping humans. Oh, this, this is a word this awful slaves. too. I said shut up. This is awful too. Right. Come along. I feel I've never felt so bad in this game. Hank is tense with us. Hey, what the fuck? So we don't get him anyway? Holy shit. Oh my god, we don't get him anyway! Fucking androids. <laughs> this is the worst. This is the worst. Oh my god! I know Hank is tense with us. I I feel sick. I feel absolutely sick. And twenty one percent only got this. Everyone like because oh, most people probably lo lo lost out on the chase. Probably Rupert got away seventy two percent. That makes sense. 86% found the diary. I was just reading very silly. I... I feel genuinely awful after that. I feel... I feel so awful after doing that. But this is the run we chose. We chose to be like an obedient... Just so you know, anyone who's watching this is like, wow, this is a weird first run. It is my second run. It is my second run. I hate that. I hated that so much. Thank you so much for all your support in this series, guys. Thank you so much to Tyfire2, Jamie Bull, Jana the Banana, Normal Cara, The Ghost of Inazuma, Felicious Felix, George Candelaria, Esklin, Yuld, Radish, Fruity, um, Jeff Trap, Anusa, Shabbat Bread, and Malcolm Conde. And I'll see you guys very soon. I have never felt so bad playing this game. <laughs> I love him so much. I love him. He's my boy. <laughs> oh my god. Terrible, terrible feeling.